We all know that editing on a slow computer is a terribly painstaking process, and even if you have a fast computer, Adobe Premiere Pro has some tendencies to crash, so if your computer is on top of the line, I'm sure you're very used to seeing the not responding top up as your project completely crashes. The good news is, is there's a couple pretty simple remedies to these problems. So the first thing I'm going to show you is a really simple fix. So once you're in Premiere Pro and you're in, in your editing tab, what you're going to do is head right to the program monitor and then to the bottom right of your image, there's going to be a little tab that probably says full. You hover over, it says select playback resolution. Click on that, drop it to one half or one fourth. And when you play your video back in the timeline now, what's going to happen is it's going to reduce the video quality temporarily to play it back more smoothly. This isn't great for fine detail, but if you're working with things like masks or animations, it really helps you see if the timing and the motion is smooth overall. The more impactful solution is called offline editing in contrast to online editing. Online editing is editing in Premiere Pro or anything else with the original media files which are uncompressed, very large, and very taxing on your computer because of their file size. Offline editing is the act of creating proxies which are compressed, low resolution versions of the original files. Editing with these because they're much smaller is much more digestible for your computer and significantly helps playback speeds while editing. Creating proxies and offline editing is a very easy process to do, so let's get started. If you're starting a fresh project, you can stay with me here, and if you're doing this in the middle of another project, you can skip ahead and I'll show you how to do it from there. So let's create a new project, select new project, and then I'll do sample, and then what you want to do is select ingest settings. Ingest should be unselected, select ingest. From the drop down bar, you're going to want to select create proxies. And once you do that, you can change the proxy destination in the preset. I've been using H.264 low resolution then uh, the proxy destination I use same as project as well. From here you just click OK, click assembly, control I to import. I'm gonna go find hopefully a short clip. Then once you drop this into Premiere Pro, Media Encoder should open up and then we'll just wait for that to load. Media Encoder will open up, uh, your clip will start to load. Then once you can see that it's complete, minimize Media Encoder, drag your clip back into the timeline, zoom in on this real quick, and now you can see that this button right here is selected. This blue button is for toggle proxies. You can turn your proxies on or off to get a better view of your video. And the best part about this is you don't have to worry about this when your project is finished. Premiere Pro doesn't even consider proxies when exporting, so that's not anything you have to concern yourself with. Now let's say that you're mid-project and you want to start using proxies. What you're going to do is, in assembly, head over to Media Browser. This ingest box will probably be unselected, so select it, and then click on the wrench next to it that says Open Ingest Settings. This should open up a very similar screen to creating a fresh project. Select Ingest, Create Proxies, choose the proxy preset you want, choose the proxy destination, press OK, and then Media Encoder should take it from there. And then again, all you have to do is drag your clips in, toggle proxies, and don't worry about exporting because it handles it for you. So thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next one.